So being back with the World of Heroes, did you when the show sadly went away? Did you ever think that you know, maybe sometime down the road there might be something reborn, basically? Uh, I, I I thought that if the show had to be back, maybe my character will come back, just because he was um, explored enough in the first four seasons, and uh, he was extremely mysterious, and uh, and yeah, and also because of HRG, because of their relationship, you know, the story had to be pretty much around HRG because he was doing driving as well to some level, even the first season, I mean the first four seasons, so so yeah, I had hope, and I really wanted to be part of, uh, of Heroes Reborn as well, uh, but at the same time, you know, to actually see it happening, it's, it's, it's nice, you know. I was just going to say, can you tell us any differences between your character from the past and your character? Um, not a lot of difference, you know, besides that, well, he still has his powers. He works closely with, not closely, we still see him a lot with HRG, but not necessarily on the same side. Yeah. I, was, I was going to ask, my question was going to be, can you tell us anything about the arc or path of your character? Has it, since you've had, spent more time with this character than probably almost anybody else on this new show, yeah. do you have an idea of where you want your character to end up by the end? The, the Haitian? Yeah. Uh, personally, I'd... Bonnie? Oh, my name? Okay, I, you want some stuff, huh? <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I'm not sure exactly on where the character is going to go, because obviously I'm not the creator, and this is a question for Tim. Tim has all those answers. But if you got to choose... If, you uh, if I had the, to choose? Yeah. Uh, Gosh, uh, it's it's a hard one to just answer like that. Uh, obviously, I will definitely give a little bit of of of, uh, of news about who he is because, as I say, I don't think we know him enough. Uh, we don't know where where he lives. Does he have a wife? Does he have kids? And all those things, you know, and all those little sub stories that are very important for any characters. Uh, you know, maybe slowly I'll get into all those. Uh, details and then at the end reveal who he really is because the face we show is not necessarily uh... <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I mean I'm just saying though <laughs> it's not me I mean what you see is what you get <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like you're having a really hard time answering our questions without giving something away. But you know, that's the kind of show, yeah. you know, and, uh, and uh, we, we have notes. We know what we can say and what we can't say as well, so, you know, it's very difficult. Can you, can you clue us in? Like, what can we ask you that you can actually answer? Um, I don't know. I think I've answered everything you could ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was short. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, um, let's say if season five had happened and went back then, you know, was there any plan, did, did Tim bring, bring back any, any plans from your character that he had had for a uh, possible fifth season into Heroes Reborn that we might now see? Well, I mean, what we know is the fact that HRG had to forget some stuff. And obviously, if he forgot some stuff, it was I did it as the Haitian. So five years later, does that come into play? Yeah. I mean, that's how we... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ask you. Are you enjoying your first Comic-Con? <laughs> it's nice, yeah. I like it's it. not your first one. You've been here before, right? I've been, but not fully like this, you know. So, you know, to fully do everything, yeah. It is, Are you uh, a sci-fi fan? Uh, well, I had to become. You know, I wasn't... I mean, I'm from Haiti. Trust me, I grew up without electricity, without water so for me any of these things didn't matter didn't mean anything at all until I moved to Paris so if you're not if you don't grow if you don't if you're not if you don't grow up with that kind of mentality it's very difficult to you know to get into it I was forced to get into it because of heroes before heroes I, I mean I had, I had no idea about those conventions and the fans that would do whatever they had to do just to be either close to the actors or to be involved in any kind of 
TV shows or movies, you know, it's amazing. And before I'll probably look at them and maybe laugh, but now I'm sort of respecting what they do because, you know, I sort of understand a little bit more. But yeah, but when I was a kid, none of these things meant anything to me. Nothing at all. And now you're a part of it. Sorry? Now you're a part of it. Now I'm a part of it, yeah. And it's nice. It's nice, you know, it allows you to to be loose somehow, you know. And sometimes life is also about playing and make believe. Why not? We call it we let our geek flag fly. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. You know, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs>